every hello everyone welcome back in this video we will learn how to balance redox reactions in basic solution so let's go over the general procedure together we're going to assign oxidation states to all atoms and identify the substances being oxidized and reduced You then separate the overall reaction into two half reactions. Balance each half reaction with respect to mass in the following order. Balance all elements other than hydrogen and oxygen. Balance oxygen by adding water. Balance hydrogen by adding hydrogen plus ions, and then neutralize those H plus ions by adding hydroxide. To neutralize each H plus ion, add the same number of hydroxide to both sides of the equation. It's really important. Balance each half reaction with respect to charge by adding electrons and make the number of electrons in both half reactions equal by multiplying one or both half reactions by a small whole number. Add the half reactions together, canceling electrons and other species as necessary. So in our previous video, we learned how to balance redox reactions in acidic solution. And so the majority of these rules probably look very familiar with, uh, familiar to you if you've already practiced through those problems. The only difference with balancing redox reactions in basic solution is that you need to neutralize the added acid by adding hydroxide. That is the only new rule that applies here if you're working in basic solution. And as I said in the previous video, it just works best by utilizing these rules and applying it to word problems and just practicing it. So let's do just that. Let's balance the following redox reaction in basic solution. So first order of a business, always assign oxidation states so you can quickly identify what substance is being oxidized and what's being reduced. And so using those rules, oxygen takes precedence over the group 70 elements, so it gets assigned negative two. This species needs to add up to negative one, so therefore the oxidation state of chlorine in this species is plus one. Remember, oxidation states are not real. It just kind of gives us an idea of how the electron density changes. Now, hydrogen is plus one, oxygen is negative two, overall hydroxide is negative one anyways. So there's four of them, so negative four, but we want an overall charge of negative one, so that means chromium in this case has a plus three oxidation state. So working backwards to figure what that one is. Once again, oxygen is negative two, negative two times four is negative eight. So what does chromium need to be? So it adds up to negative two. Okay, it needs to be a plus six. Six minus eight is negative two. And then this is a monatomic ion. Its oxidation state is just equal to its charge, so negative one. So we see chlorine is becoming more negative, which means it must be doing what? It must be reduced gaining electrons, right? Because they're negative. And therefore the chromium species here is losing um, electrons and therefore must be undergoing oxidation. So when we add electrons by balancing the charge on these half reactions, we want to make sure that this makes sense to us based on our knowledge of these oxidation states. So let's go ahead, write down our half reaction. It doesn't matter which one you start with, but find the siblings. So I'm going to start off with the chlorine species. First rule is to balance elements other than oxygen and hydrogen. It looks like we're one to one for chlorine, so we're good. Then balance oxygen by adding water. 
so I need to add one water molecule to the right side so I have one oxygen on both sides of the arrow. And then balance the hydrogens by adding hydrogen ions. So in this case here, I need to add two hydrogen ions. Oh, didn't mean to take that cue with me. <laughs> And then, there we go. <laughs> and then, because we're in basic solution, we need to make sure we neutralize the acid because that's not the conditions we're running this redox reaction in. So we need to add hydroxide to neutralize the added acid. So if we add two hydroxide to neutralize the acid, we also need to add the same amount on the other side of the arrow, so two hydroxides over here. All right, so when we add two hydroxide plus two hydrogen ions, this basically adds up to two water molecules. So let's write that down. So this is two waters. Because remember, hydroxide plus H plus gives you water. And then I'm gonna cancel out like species. So for example, here I have one water molecule, but I have two here. So two minus one leaves me with one over here. So I'm gonna cancel this out, and then I'm gonna cancel this out, and it's just gonna be one. So I'll write down what's left over after I've done that. I find that it's easier if you just simplify along the way. Less likely to make mistakes. All right, so we've balanced mass and we're in basic solution. Now we need to balance charge. So on the left side of the arrow, it looks like I have zero, negative one, so overall negative one. On the right side of the arrow, I have negative three, right? So negative one and then negative two, negative three. I can only balance charge by adding electrons. And remember, electrons are negative. So where do I need to add the electrons and how many? Excellent, I need to add two electrons on the reactant side. And also you can just double check yourself. You can be like, okay, I knew that this was being um, getting more negative, so it must have been getting reduced. So yes, it makes sense. The electrons are on the reactant side. I always like to remember reduction starts with the letter R. So does um, being, re you know, reactant, right? Reactant starts with the letter R. So we've balanced the charge, so now we have negative three and then negative three on this side as well. All right, let's look at the other half reaction, which must be the oxidation taking place. So I will write down the chromium species here, this complex ion. So we make chromate. All right. So with this one first, balance atoms other than hydrogen and oxygen. So chromium looks good. Then we wanna balance the oxygens. There's four here, four here, so that's great. Then finally, we wanna balance the hydrogens by adding H plus. So it looks like we will need to add four H plus on the right side, but we immediately need to neutralize it. So we need to add the same number of hydroxides to both sides since we're in basic solution. Go ahead and simplify. Let's turn these hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions into water. So that turns into four waters. So we have four hydroxide plus the chromium complex ion to give the chromate plus four waters. Okay, fantastic. So we're balanced by mass, balanced and basic, but now we need a balance by charge. So looking on the left side of the arrow, looks like we have a negative one, negative four, looks like it's a negative five. And over here we have a negative two. We need to add electrons 
I need to make the charge equal, electrons are negative charge. So how many do you need to add into which side? Excellent, you need to add three electrons. So they're both negative five on both sides of the equation. So four times the negative ones, negative four, plus the negative one, negative five. Now we have negative two, plus negative three, negative five. So we're balanced by charge. Now, we need to make sure that the electrons that are being lost here are equal to the electrons being gained. That is not the case here. So we need to multiply both half reactions by a small whole number so that the number of electrons being transferred is the same. So what would you wanna multiply this half reaction by? Perfect, you wanna multiply it by two. Two times three is six. What would you wanna multiply this half reaction by then? Three, three times two is six. So in this case here, now we're transferring six electrons. So I'm gonna go ahead and say we're gonna multiply by two for this half reaction and we'll need to multiply by three for that half reaction so that we're transferring six electrons. All right, so then I'm going to start writing down the first half reaction and multiply it out. So we have six electrons plus three waters plus three ClO minus to give three chloride anions plus six hydroxides. Okay, that's the first half reaction. I'm gonna do the next one. So two times four is eight hydroxides plus two of the chromium complex ion, two of the chromate plus eight waters plus six electrons. <clears throat> And we will need to add these up to get the overall reaction balanced in basic media, but we need to cancel out like terms on both sides. So it looks like the six electrons cancels out. What else cancels out? Yeah, a lot of waters cancel out, right? So we have eight on this side, but we have three on this side. So eight minus three is what? Five, good. So these cancel out, but you get five left over after they do. And then what else cancels out? Hydroxide, good. So eight minus six is two. So we'll end up with two after the six hydroxides canceled out. So that's the first thing you wanna make sure you do is just kind of simplify, simplify, and then write down what's left over. So what's left over is this. So we write our reactants from both half reactions after cancellation. And there's our basic solution. We see the hydroxides there. So we've done that correctly. I tend to write a little large, so I always run out of room. <laughs> And there you go. This is the final redox reaction balanced in basic solution. So once again, as I was saying in the previous video, it's really important for you to practice this exact problem again on your own without looking at my work. Because I know initially when you see it worked out, you're like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Um, and it may seem trivial to you. However, it's important that you're able to derive this answer based on the rules that we went over, the general procedure. And so have these rules available, derive this without looking at the work that we've just done, just to test yourself, to make sure you understand each rule and you don't skip any rules. And then you can apply that knowledge to other problems. But like I said, I don't want you sitting here and spending all your time making flashcards and memorizing 
all these rules, you will learn it better through practice, practice, practice. <laughs> all right. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.